Welcome back to my Leicester City save on Foot Manager 2018. Today we have the start of a new season and uh, we'll be playing Chelsea in the Community Shield today. Chelsea, the kind of top four team other than ourselves that we can sort of beat. Um, whoa. I was with Diego Simeone that I've beaten that many times. Apparently he's the Chelsea manager now. He is. Whoa. Look at those. Those are crazy. 20, 20, 16, 20, 20, 17, 15, 19. A bit scary, actually, isn't it? Uh, yeah, all right. How long has he been there for? Flipping heck. Milestones? What, te what will tell me? He's been there since 2020. Been there a year and a half. We're beating him last year then. All right. Okay. So let's take a look at, I'll, I'll mention this one first. Um, uh, potentially selling out Dominic Soblovlushkishish because what, what do we buy him for? We bought him for 800 grand, immediately loaned him for 1.1, made the money back, then 300 grand, then 1.8. So we've made a million profit there, uh, 1.3 million, one point, wait, two point four million profit on him, and the offer we've got in for him is uh, twelve point two five million, that could rise up to fifteen point something or other. What is the offer? Ten million, two point two million in installments, and then after thirty league games, two point four, and after ten international appearances, one point two, and then thirty percent of profit. So I think, at the worst case, that's a good deal. Best case, he's, he stays at two star and we've got an unbelievable deal on that dude. So I'd be happy to sell him if we, if we can agree a deal. Ruben Neves, the, the, con the offer I have stalled on. 50 million plus 30% of his next sale. So I'm undecided on whether or not I get rid of him or not. Uh, we've got some good centre midfielders. I do like him. He wasn't that good last year, though. 7.04 in 27 starts. He's good. But then if we if Adrian Silva goes, because he's getting older, I suppose we've got Ndidi. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just stalling because I, I don't know what I'll be able to get that's better. Um, I'm kind of regretting letting this free agent go. I'll, I'll just show you here. Sam, which is, probably tells me he's not that good. But basically, he was free agent, and my uh, scouts thought he was very, very good. And uh, he just wanted fairly brutal money. I think, I, I think he wanted like 100 and something, 50 grand or something, and more than a lot of my team. But I did see some of the wages on the other teams are crazy. Let's go to transfers then, and I will try and give you a breakdown of what's gone on in the most dramatic way possible. Well, the release players aren't particularly dramatic. Uh, Max Gradle's gone. He was just there for, and so is Del Bennett, gone for uh, tutoring purposes. And just a bunch of players have gone, just absolutely tons that I do not care about. And then let's go to the, let's go to the outs first. Let me see if there are any. Okay, first is uh, Predrag Reykjavik, who is just, I couldn't say his name, so I had to tell him. Uh, no, he, he was, he's fine. He's just fine. Two and a half star goalie probably. He's not as good as Caballero, who is only 19 and has the scope to be much better than he currently is. And I think he should he should be pretty good. So what did we get for him? We got uh, 4.2 million, which is not even what we paid for him. A bit of a disaster one there. One of my favorites from the start of this save um, has also gone. It's um, Vicente, Vicente Ibora. He went for 2.9 million. He had a year left on his deal when he played one game last year. Not a problem. I'm absolutely fine with letting him go at this point. But I don't really know what he offers to us. I don't play an anchor man. He kind of was fine in ball wing field, but I'm just yeah, I was happy to cut ties with him. This is a, a powerful one, actually. I showed you him in the last episode, I think. I'd already agreed to signing for him. 4.8 million straight up, no extra clauses, no percentage of next sale, and He's supposedly better than Jonathan Tarr, who was a £70 million centre-back. Significantly better than Keane. 
he's um he's supposedly a world class player. If when the report comes up, it says, "Oh, there you go, world class player." He looks like pretty good. Apparently, he's unbelievable. So I'm absolutely fine with Ham. With Ham, yep, uh, yeah, super excited to have him. And he didn't need a work. He didn't get a work permit. Then I delayed, and then I accepted, and he had a work permit. He should have had one anyway because he's played six games now. But super excited by that. Just cheap signing. His value is not as high as it should be, really, but also cheap wage. So I think that's an absolute bargain. Well, Teo Hernandez has gone back to Real Madrid, and you know I, I, I clashed a lot with uh, Angelotti at Real Madrid, and he said I will never loan you a player again. Well, they have. So we've got this guy on loan for the for the next two seasons. He's a backup for Chilwell right now, but he's a wonder kid with five star potential. So. He could be a very, very useful player for us next year or this year. You know, he, he looks good and just quite well-rounded and, and young. So I'm happy to have him here and just help us out as a backup. Okay, my apparently constant struggle to find a good Trequartista, I have signed uh, Francisco, Francisco Geraldes, who looks good, but the scouts just love him. Um... He's a four-star guy, but that is apparently significantly better than Chad. Mars isn't even on that list. We paid nineteen million for him, but he's done good in the previous seasons, and he's now worth forty-three. Not a decent amount of money, but he's a Portuguese international. I think in that role he'll be pretty good. He has everything you need in sort of thirteen and up. I think he'll be good. Good vision, good passing, good dribbling. I think we could see some good production from him, either footed as well. I, I like him a lot. We're going to give him a go at the start of the year, give him a good run of games. Probably this will drop down to about three star because Trey Quartista just... Mahrez gets a good rating, but then won't learn the thing. And he's also getting a bit older, so I thought 26 years old, a good replacement. Uh, he's a lot younger than me, actually. I've just noticed that. That's depressing. Moving on to a lot of strikers. Um, pinamonte has gone... And the, the scouts just don't rate the strikers. We didn't score goals last year, so I've tried to address that this time. So first up is Enzo Reyes. I've mentioned him a bunch of times previously. Um, we picked him up for 11 million. He's a three-star current guy with five-star potential. Very, very good pace. Decent everywhere else, but a very good finisher as well. And still only 19, so there is scope for this guy to really improve. The issue I'm having is finding people who are defensive forwards. Um, he might be someone I'd train up as that because I feel like he can probably do it other than positioning, which is what I'm currently training him on. Next up is Sreten Tesic, another wonder kid. Now, he's only valued at 15 million, but his, va his wage isn't too bad. He's got a good international record, nine caps and five goals. He's, a he's good in the air and he's pretty well-rounded everywhere else that you need for complete forward. Good technique. But very good off the ball and very, very quick and strong as well. I like him quite a bit. I think he's pretty good. And he's also got a four-star report. I don't know how many goals he's going to score. But 16 and 19 for Red Star. It's Red Star though, so it's tough to say if he's going to really step up in the Premier League. But 5 and 9 for Serbia is pretty good. And, yeah, 1.2 million quid. That was his release clause, and I saw off a couple of other teams for him. I think he he's probably going to be our starting striker, and alongside him generally, but not this week because he's done, he's got a double hernia, which is not ideal. Another young lad, pretty good pace, very good strength, pretty good composure, decent off the ball. Another good, decent finisher, good dribbler this time though. I think he's going to be good in our advanced forward role if he can sort of sort his life out a little bit with... Oh, defensive forward I've got this does. I was really tired when I was playing this. Why have I done that? Let me show you the report. Basically, um, Tesic and Jolly are four-star. Reyes is three, and then is three. And I don't even know where Iheanacho fits in there. Two and a half stars for this dude. Like... If you look at his goal scoring record these three years, that's that's pretty mad to be two and a half stars. And he's still worth 40 million. Um, yeah, it's just slightly bizarre. 
I can't figure this out at all. Strikers seem to be so erratic with their ratings. Jolly, though, I saw off a few teams for him as well. Um, pretty decent record, if I remember correctly. We played 16.75 for him. Yeah, decent record. Over a goal every other game. Good record, but again, five-star potential. I've been lied to here. Either way, if he's four-star and Driussi's only three and Ian Acho's two and a half, you expect him to throw in a few goals. He looks good. He looks good. He's still only 19, which is madness. How is he not going to grow? Between now and... Well, yeah, all right. Okay. But as I say, uh, Tesic has also got... Uh, what? <laughs> he's also four-star and not going to grow at 19, which is nuts to me again. And it's annoying, actually, because it said they were going to grow and be pretty good. That's all the signings. Um, but I think we've improved without throwing money around. Let's go to the world transfers, because there were some uh, big ones and some frustrating ones. Uh, can we go... The biggest this month is someone I don't recognise. Is there anyone in there that I do recognise? There was one that really annoyed me. Um, maybe it was last month. Martial went to Real Madrid, which is interesting. Uh, the J Argentinian goalie went to Monaco. Hemrix went to Man United. Man United throw money around again. You'll see they're down here as well. They've also signed Lorenzo Pellegrini. He looks super good. And it was someone that Man United signed that was really annoying to me. Oh, they've also signed Kessel, Kessie who looks really good, and I didn't notice was an option until he'd gone, and he went for 23 million. I, I probably would have picked him up. And let me go to Man United. I'm pretty sure it was Man United that signed him. Yeah, here he is. Um, so 46.5 million going up to 75. Jeffrey Witzer, who is only 20 and looks, looks really good. Really good. And Man United, of course, picked him up just because they pick everyone up. And it's quite irritating. Chelsea also made big moves. I don't know where these moves are. Hang on, let me go back. Uh, maybe another month. Yeah, there you go. Casper Dolberg. Uh, oh, and also Chelsea picked up Asensio, which is super annoying. And he's the only player I've seen that has five-star, straight-up five-star report. I haven't seen anyone else with that. Everyone else has got three-star or... Uh, four and a half star or whatever. Casper Dolberg, another big signing for them, and he looks really good. I'm a bit scared that Chelsea might be really good this year, so we'll likely see a couple of those guys today. Anybody else that was particularly irritating? There was one more that was super irritating. Jolly there for us. There was a young, a young French lad went somewhere, and it was really, he was really good. But who was it he went to? I can't remember. It's going to really annoy me. I'm going to find this dude, because otherwise I'm going to lose my head. It's not him, is it? No, I just can't remember what his name was. Oh, come on. I, I was in for him as well, and he, went, he chose someone else. I can't remember how much money it was, if it was like tons or... Just a normal amount. kirantini has gone to Liverpool. Oliver Burke's gone to Everton. Interesting. Yeah, I can't really remember who it was. But. Pretty sure he went to the Premier League, which is more annoying. Never mind. Let's have a look at what we're going with today. It's so warm in here. I'm, uh, I'm dying. Right. Standard. With a few exceptions. That's not standard at all. It's 50% of what we had last year. Caballero in goal, standard goalie. Fabricio Bustos, right back. We got offered quite a lot of money for him, actually, but I'm still yet to find a right back who really has similar or good, good enough attributes to replace him, really. Jonathan Tarr as our right centre-back, perfect. Elizondo is our left. Hopefully that's going to be a really strong partnership. Hortau on the left back because Chilwell is injured. Uh, Hazamali's injured, not that he would have really played. And then Jolie's also injured, so he, they're, not, he, they're, uh, they're not in. Then Adrian Silva, Wendell and Bagarin. Uh, Neves on the bench for now. We'll, we'll see how it, all the transfer situation pans out with him before we sort of make a decision on him. Um, Bagarin, 
is the man, I think. I think this guy at 20 is just, the sky's the limit. He looks like an absolute animal. Francisco Geraldes. And then we're going with Enzo Reyes and uh, Sretan Tesic with Driussi on the bench. Um, Driussi may well make an appearance, as may Inacho, as may Mares. So good Neves, and Didi as well. Unlikely to see Keane or Oza. Oza, by the way, has got nationality. And he looks okay with a good bit of potential. So he's not what I thought he was going to be when I signed him, which is 1.2 million, but he's worth more than we paid for him. And he looks all right, and he could get to be four stars, which is pretty good. A four-star goalie is a, a fairly top-notch goalie. Uh, it's a bit of a weird one because it means Maguire drops out. I think, actually, I haven't even thought about this, but I think Vavro's got to go. Because if we've now got Tar and Elizondo, then Keane is the first backup, Maguire is the second, and then Abcher is a very, very competent fifth. Um, probably as competent or more than Vavro, to be honest, and much younger. Significantly more. In fact, better than Maguire as well. Ooh. Yeah, I think Vavro's going to be gone. Let me... Uh, he's, how have we not made money on him? Oh, we might have done, actually. 2.8 million. Okay. That looked like a great signing when we made it. So let's go... Uh, how do we offer him out? Off to clubs. Let's offer him out at... 4 million and just see what happens. Transfer listed, not needed. If we can get a bit of dough for him, that's, that's the good stuff. Okay. Anyone else that needs to go? Because I've got a fairly full squad. The strikers are just... It's Vardy as well. Like, I'm forgetting about Vardy. But he's... He's still around and he still could easily do the business. In fact, last year, he was really the guy who kind of did the business. That's not it. What's that? That's overview. No, get out of my life. He, um, he got 11 goals last year in 11 starts. So he might well be the guy who, who does it for us this year. Okay, let's go. Chelsea, I'm so interested to see what they're going to come out with. It could be... Yeah, they're struggling for match fitness, but that's fine. They, they'll get it in the match. Tesic still needs a number. What number has I given everyone else? I'll give him wild numbers. Vardy's kept his number nine because it, it's Vardy. He has to. Let's, uh, let's give Tesic some, uh, some wild numbering. I think 88 and 99 have gone. That's Jolly and... Jolly, apparently I can replace the number. We'll give him 77. Because why not? And then Burke owes a... Ah, oh, 23's gone. That's annoying. 23 is my go-to... Uh, my go-to goalie number because of Carlo Codicini, still from 2000s. We'll go 32 because I think that's a different goalie somewhere. I'd say 30 in honour of Henrik Lundqvist, but you wouldn't know what I was talking about if you're watching this, maybe. Or maybe you would. I don't know. Let's go, then. It's... Um, I'm melting. Um, it's so warm in here. And that's okay sometimes. Okay, they're playing a 4-4-2 with Wharton. I don't recognise at all. He's a regen. He is a 17-year-old regen. Oh, done. Oh, no. Hang on. He is a regen through their youth system. He's played two games. Okay. Christensen, Bakayoko, Nastasic. Lafont is a fairly new signing for them. He's very, very good. As Pilaqueta. Casemiro and Asensio, the Real Madrid connection there. Bastian. Okay, someone they paid 15 million for, I'm not that impressed with. Who's this? Deshaun Rodin. Okay, so they've gone with a not a full strength squad. How good is Cavani at this point? 34, he's actually not bad still. He's pretty good. Uh, he's on the transfer list though, so this is not their full squad. Well, we know it's not because they've not got Dolberg in there. And Courtois on the bench. They've still got Courtois. Why have they signed the font? Uh, this is a weird one. They obviously don't care about this tournament. I'm not that fussed, but it would be nice to win it because we've not won it before. And just to try out some new faces as well. I'd rather play a full squad, trying out the new team, than, than play a backup team. Let's go. Yeah, I feel like we have to win this. Even though they've got Asensio in the middle, he's by miles the best player on the pitch for them, and they haven't got much else out there that's really that threatening. Cavani, maybe. 
And this is a team that we've beaten previously, so you kind of expect that you're going to do all right against them. Asensio is obviously dangerous, though. He's someone that I was looking at buying when he sort of showed a vague flicker of interest a couple of years ago. Uh, I wasn't able to get him. Well, because it didn't tell me that he was being offered for, which is annoying, but I didn't actually have my shortlist. I just kind of was following him of my own accord. This has not gone great so far, but it's been quite dull, so we'll go a bit more controlling. This is a, you know, what are we looking at? Attacking midfield, two new strikers, and a new centre-back, and a new left-back. So it's a fairly unfamiliar team, but they're, I mean, they're playing this weird squad here. Elizondo gets beaten by Cavani for speed, but Cavani's not able to finish it. Why are we playing in white? I just realised we're the home team. Home team, if in case you couldn't see that before. Cavani over the bar. Uh, I'm a bit worried that we're being rubbish here. Silva takes a yellow card. Let's... Um, I don't really know what to do. I don't want to push it too much. But this is a little bit concerning. The centre-backs now, by the way... They're, <laughs> yeah, they've just hit the post. The centre-backs now should be good, but also, physically, they're just absolute animals, both of them. Elizondo is... Look at that. 15 pace, 14 acceleration. It's not that good, actually. But 17 strength and 18 jumping is pretty good for a centre-back for speed and strength. And then Jonathan Tarr, 17 pace, 19 strength, 18 jumping reach. So they shouldn't be beaten in the air too much. And they shouldn't be beaten for speed too much. But, I mean, it, it just seems to happen all the time anyway. So I should not talk. Caballero with the kick out. Reyes doesn't do a lot. Wendell with the ball. Let's see what he can do. Bugarim. I'd love Reyes to be amazing. Uh, Bustos, what are you doing, mate? Wendell, that was a terrible pass. They, I mean, Elizondo's done badly there as well. This is uh, not encouraging for Elizondo so far. He's playing at 6.9, but they could a couple of goals off his mistakes so far. Maybe it's just Cavani's very, very good, but I don't think that's true. Let's go um, assertively, say, I'm far from pleased with what we just saw, because I am. That's true. Kickoff highlight, I'm not going to bother commenting on. Cavani's having a really bad game. Sensei's not having a great one, though. No one's really having a good game at all. I think we might be ready for a sub at some point. Let's have a one quick shout. Is that a shout? Yep. Oh. Yeah, okay. They're on the break. I thought we might be able to get something there, but nope. And again, look, he's getting beaten by Cavani for, for pace. I don't really know how that's happening, but he, they are. Let's go... Um, Encourage. It's just a bit of encouragement, and then we'll do it a couple more minutes before we make a sub. Uh, we're going to make a sub, because this isn't going great. Reyes is going to come off for Drew Ucy. And then let's get Giraldez off for Mares, because that's just a little link that they have from previous years. So we'll do that, and then we'll see how it goes for the next 10 or so. I think it goes straight to penalties if it's a draw in the Community Shield, but I didn't check because I didn't anticipate there being it being nil nil after seventy minutes. And I'd rather go out on my shield than uh, than sort of sit back. So we'll go out attacking. In fact, let's go a bit more attacking with our. It's not worth the ball into the box. Let's go a bit more direct, a bit more higher tempo, and a little bit higher up the pitch, and just stick with that for another five minutes. Per minute any more subs it's not been um, the best game has it yeah alright well, uh, let's get let's get Iheanacho on I guess because the midfield's doing fine Iheanacho can come on that should be a good link between the three of them they've played together before and it is doing an out. So I don't really know what to do with myself here. Penalties. Yeah. Good. All right. And they've saved the first one. Good. Just what I wanted. Ber Bergema. 
they, we've saved the first one as well. Caballero with the first save. Oh, and they go, oh, it's one, two, two, one, whatever, isn't it? No, it's one, two, 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 like tennis in the tie break. Garim. Three out of four saves so far. Now, Mares on his right foot, but he'll switch to his left because that's weird. Though they need to score one and they've won, right? One nil. Come on, guys. That's it, right? No, apparently not. We've missed three, but they've only scored two out of three. So they need to score this one and they win. That's outrageous. <laughs> so it's two nil after four each. Three each. No, we've had three, they've had four, right? Ryusi needs to score his penalty, though. I feel like they should have let me pick the penalty takers, surely. Ryusi. We do actually score in this match. Because I was just thinking, we're not going to get a goal, even in penalties. And that's, that's depressing. Ortao, with a bit of pressure on his shoulders. What would this be? We'll have had five and they'll have had four if, if uh, this goes through. Okay, it's 2-2, two, two, and what's that each? They've had four, and we've had five. So if Caballero saves it, we go to sudden death, which is, this is such a bizarre game. Go on, mate, have a little save. He does! Okay, we've... <laughs> Goalies are winning 3-2 so far. Oh, they scored that one. He should have saved that one. This is bizarre. Oh, we can zoom in a little bit. Wendell. Keep us in it, mate. Brazilian International's got nerves of steel, mate. In it goes. No problem. Outrageous. Outrageous. He's caught it as well. The goalie's actually caught it. That was embarrassing, actually. It was just boring. Um, and not... Not impressive in any way. I don't really know what to make of that one. Okay, so their backup team just beat us, which is um, not ideal. No, their efforts weren't excellent. I'm going to assertively say, not good enough. Didn't work at halftime. They liked it at the end of the match, but that was rubbish. And it always seems to happen at the start of the year, but especially when you make that sort, those sorts of changes. That was super disappointing. Um... Yeah, that was that was disappointing. Okay, I'm gonna end it there and probably bring you in for what? I mean, I'll attempt to bring you in for a Leeds game because we've not played them before. Let's go. Um, maybe, maybe a Champions League game, something like that. We'll see. I'll bring you in around somewhere because Champions League is still the uh, the big thing we want now. Obviously, we want to win the league again. Charity Shield's not really on anymore, so uh, our chances of winning the Charity Shield were severely hurt by that last game, so let's, um, let's hope that we can be good in the league again. Yeah, I don't really know what to make of that one, because that, um, that was dire. Those two strikers did nout. The uh, attacking midfielder, Geraldes, did nout. Centre-back was pretty poor, and he's lucky that Cavani didn't score a couple, really. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that. What do you think of the new signings? I mean, other than the fact that they were just all rubbish, I'm pretty happy with them, you know. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.